Hi everybody! In this video, I'm gonna show you how to copy elements with Revit API and Python between your views, project, or just with a vector. I have all the snippets available on my blog or in my EFTutor GitHub repository. Also, I'm starting my new newsletter about Revit API. All the links gonna be in the description of this video. And now, let's have a look how to copy elements with Revit API. Here's my simple Revit file, and I prepared a few walls and a text node that we can copy between views with a vector and so on. We're gonna go to EFTutor. Here is a button which is copy elements. I can open a PyCharm with the script of it. And at the moment it's just a regular template. There are a few variables. I import everything from Revit database. And there is just a title and description of the button. I prepared a few comment blocks to separate our code blocks. Then here we're gonna copy with a vector. Then we're gonna copy between views. And lastly we're gonna copy between projects. For now let's move it all the way down. And let's look how can we copy our elements with a vector. If you're gonna go to Revit API documentation, there are three different methods to copy your elements in an element transform you choose class. We're gonna start with the first one. This is gonna copy our elements at a location indicated by a given translation. By translation, it means a vector. It just takes three arguments. We need to provide document. We need to get elements to copy. They have to be I collection. And lastly, we need to create translation, which should be XYZ class. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy the name of this class. So element transform utils, copy elements. Then we need to provide a document, we want to make walls to copy, and lastly we need a vector. This is copy elements. We can hide Revit API documentation. And now, first of all, let's get all the walls. So I'm going to write all walls equals... I'm just going to use the filtered element collector, and then I'm going to convert everything to element IDs. Let's also make a comment, I'm going to write get walls. If you're getting your elements with filtered element collector, then you don't even need to convert it into a uh, I collection. This filtered element collector is going to be just fine. Uh, let's rename this variable to walls to copy. And lastly, we need to create a vector. And to make a vector, we just use the XYZ class. And now we need to provide coordinates where we want to move it. For example, if I want to move 25 feet to the right and then 50 feet to the top, I'm going to write X is going to be 25, Y is going to be 50, and Z is going to be 0. And lastly, since we're trying to modify our document, we need to create a transaction. I'm going to write here start transaction. And lastly, I'm going to end transaction by committing it. Now we can zoom out a little, let's click on the button, and you can see it has copied it right here. If I wanted to change it to x50 and click it again, you can see it copied all of it again. Okay, so this is how we copy elements with a vector. I don't need any of these walls, I'm just gonna hide it. So I'm gonna select all of this, and I'll comment it out. In the next example, I'm gonna show you how to copy between views. So, first of all, let's open second view in our Revit model. And you can see that in view A, we have a text node that says copy that. And we don't have it in a view B. So I'm going to write a code to copy this text node from view A to the view B. Same as before, first of all, let's go back to Revit API documentation and have a look. In this case, I need to use this method from source view to destination view. And this time we have a few more arguments. This is not a problem. So same as before, let's start by defining a line which actually copies the elements. So first we need our source view. Then we need text to copy. Then our destination view. Then we need transform and we need copy paste options. So let's start by getting all the text nodes that we're trying to copy. I can hide Revit API documentation. And I'm going to get all the text nodes in the active view with filtered element collector. As usual, I'm gonna add a comment here. So now we can start getting all the views. As a source view, I'm gonna use the active view. And as destination view, we're actually gonna use PyRevit function to easily select it from the list. So we don't have to write any code really. So from PyRevit forms, import, select views can actually move it to our import section and the destination view is going to equal select views. Now we can look. Okay, the title is going to keep the same as the button. Then I can see here that there is a multiple. I want to set it to false, but I don't really want to change anything else. Also, if you want to see this help doc string, hold control, click on Q and it's going to open this pop up. If you're going to click it again, it's going to open here on the sidebar. You can close it. And in here, I'm going to write get views. Just notice that I named this variable wrong. Instead of all text, I want to name it text to copy. And lastly, we just need to provide our transform and options. So first of all, let's define transform. It has a little bit weird way to actually making it because we need to take transform and then call its identity. And this is going to give us default value of a transform. And for the options, we can use copy paste options. Uh, I can see that I have misspelled transform right here. I'm going to replace it. And this actually should be good to go. Same as before, we need to make transaction. 
And now we can come here and actually test if it's working. I'm going to make sure that this is my active view. I'm going to click on the copy elements button. It gives me this menu to select our destination view, which is defined right here. Destination view equals select views. I'm going to select view B, click on select and has copied this text to right here. So far it's going good. So I can comment all of this out. I can move to the next one, how to copy elements between your projects. I'm going to create a new project and I want to copy all of these walls and paste it in here. So same as before, we go to Revit API documentation. At this time, I need to select a method to copy from source document to destination document. If you pay attention, you will notice that this is exactly the same as copying between views, but instead of views, we need to provide our documents. I'm just going to copy all of this. And instead of source view, I'm going to say document A and destination view is going to be document B. Now let's make some space. We can close the Revit API documentation. This time I want to copy all the walls. So let's scroll up and take this part which takes all the walls to copy. I'm going to paste it here. Then transform and option is going to be exactly the same. I'm going to copy this part right here. And the only thing we need to do is get our documents. So to get all documents, we can use the application variable and look for documents. In Revit API, you can see the application class and somewhere in the properties there should be documents right here. It returns a set of documents within Revit. Normally you would need to create some sort of UI to let users select, okay, this is document A, this is document B and so on. In my case, I'm going to make it very lazy. I'm just going to say that document A equals the first one and document B is the second one. And if it doesn't work right, I'm just going to flip the numbers and it's going to be okay. Let's go to Revit and try it. I know for a fact that it's going to give me a warning, but I want to show it to you. Here's the warning message. It tells me that document set object is not subscriptable. So the easy way around it is just to make a list of it. Then it's going to be fine. When you see this warning about not subscriptable, it means that you cannot get the first or second element and so on. Now it's going to give me another warning that I want to show you. This one might be a little bit confusing in the beginning, but it will make sense. So it tells me that I'm attempting to modify the model outside of transaction. But if you look right here, I have created a transaction, I committed it, and the warning comes on the line 109, which is this line right here. And if you're going to pay attention right here, we're creating the transaction in the our active document, but we're actually trying to bring this element to our document B. So we created a transaction here, and we're trying to modify this document. Therefore, Revit says like, okay, there is no transaction in this document going, so I'm not going to make any changes. But we just need to take our document B and paste it here in transaction. And now this transaction is happening in this project. So we can take our elements from project A and bring it to project B. I think there shouldn't be any errors now. So I'm going to come here and click on copy elements. And you can see it copied elements between two projects. And also I have a little bonus for you. There's also another way to copy between projects. You just have to use the method to copy between views. And then you get a view A from project A. And then you get view B from project B. And then you just provide these two views to copy between two projects. It's also going to work very well. And I think that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you learned how to copy elements with a vector between views and between projects, don't forget to like this video or subscribe to my channel. Also, I want to say huge thanks to my Patreon and Coffee supporters, which you can see right here. And as always, happy coding.